Jordan Peterson, we did an interview with him, and it was very good. Very interesting. Um, he's clearly been through it. We'll say that. I don't know what he's been through, and neither does he. And you'll see in the interview that I don't know what he's been through. You won't know because he doesn't know. He ended up in Moscow for for the better part of a year in a coma. And how that happened, it's kind of anyone's guess. He's got many autoimmune disorders. He's a brilliant guy, very smart guy, but he's got many autoimmune disorders, and uh, there's many issues. And his family, they all have the same autoimmune disorder. The cure is pork fat. <laughs> the, cure is, the cure is just meat. And it's very interesting that everyone has the same. It's like the Weinsteins where they're, it's the both brothers are, uh, you know, theorists. It's like both of them. It's like you have an entire family of pontificators. Peterson's entire family has autoimmune disorder. Man, the intellectual dark web has seen better days. Seen better days, hasn't it? Just keep going out and telling the people to shut their goddamn mouths, Lori. And you could keep eating box in the La Quinta or wherever that monster goes. She probably goes to nice hotels. It's not immediately clear to me why Lori Lightfoot resembles the penguin, but... It does seem to be her aesthetic, and it does seem to be something that is probably a benefit to her to appear as the penguin, because the penguin wasn't always overweight. In the Adam West Batman, the penguin was sort of, you know, a, a thinner man, but he always wore a suit, and I believe that that's Laurie Lightfoot is sort of taking that aesthetic as the penguin, which I think is, is very positive. What do you think about the Peterson interview? Do you think it was good? I loved it. <clears throat> I like when he started psychoanalyzing you. That was fun. Yeah, I should psychoanalyze him, by the way. It's a two-way street, you know? But I, did he psychoanalyze me? Yeah, he was like, oh, that's very interesting. So you have to behave this way so you don't engage in these substances. And that, right. What does that say about you? And, oh, right. Let's, let's pause there. So th that means that then, yeah. Well, yeah, it's unclear, Jordan. Yeah. It's unclear. I don't. That's my answer. It's unclear. I don't know why I ended up where I ended up. I never ended up outside of the country. I do like him, and I, I do think he's dealt with a lot of shit that's unfair, the portrayals of him. But there's parts of the interview that are very interesting, and, and, and people have to come to their own conclusions. I think I did a pretty good job pushing back on him and some of the clean your room stuff. I, I mean, we'll all have to judge that. You know, I'm sure the internet will be kind and fair. I'm sure they'll be just in their assessment. Of what I did. It's when Candace Owens came on. Everyone lost their mind. And I didn't, you know, scream and, scream and yell at her. I brought up most most things. Uh, I, You know, all, all of the things. All the points that you could counteract what she was saying. I brought them up. I did. If you watched that interview. And still no one cared. 